You know, the thing I want to talk to you guys about is obviously something very beautiful. It's mentioned, it's proven, and this is about the Gulf of Alaska. If you guys know, the Gulf of Alaska is located at Alaska. <laughs> I know, sorry, I know that's obvious. The significant thing about the Gulf of Alaska, guys, that obviously is very cold water. I mean, you know, I mean, it's, it's not recommended you swim in there, otherwise, you know, you're gonna be a frozen man. But the thing is that the Gulf of Alaska has fresh water and salt water mixing. And the thing is they're mixing, yet they're not actually mixing. There's a barrier between them. And scientists and people that are learned in this field, they, they explain that there's a very thin barrier not allowing the waters to mix. So you know, the, the, the fresh water does not get mixed with the salted water. So you will see in the fresh water side, there's no such thing as salted water getting mixed with it. Yet in the, in the salt water side, you don't see the fresh water coming in. And people say that this is crazy. This is due to the mountains around and you know, something like that. But you know, that's something we can say. The craziest thing is I wanted to tell you that this is mentioned in the Quran. And subhanAllah in Surah Rahman, Allah says, This is such a beautiful ayah. Allah is saying he has released two bodies of water. One is fresh, one is salt. And they mix, yet there's a barrier between them. And Allah is saying that he is the one who did it. You know, scientists and everybody are gonna be like, yeah, you know, it's mountains, it's that, it's this, that, the other. They'll make you, you know, flash. They'll make you think, oh yeah, yeah, he's right. A Bedouin man, how would a person who was illiterate, how would a person, we keep raising that argument with you guys, but you guys don't admit. Now you guys have to listen to us now. This is our time. You gotta listen to us, peace. Okay, so how can a man who was, who couldn't read or write know about this in Alaska? How, you living in the desert? There's no such thing as technology back in the day in the Prophet Sallallahu time. This is when you admit and when you really, really need to give a chance to the Quran. You need to look at the Quran. You need to read the Quran, guys. Even if you have arguments, if you hear arguments about the Quran, why don't you give it a read? There's PDFs online. Just read. There's Sahih International. There's, uh, you know, Mustafa Khattab. There's Abdul Halim. Very good translations of the Quran. You know, very easy to understand. But really and truly, you need to be like, you know, on some, you need to be on crack to deny this. Because this is beautiful that Allah said in the Quran, 1400 years ago when the Quran was revealed, this was mentioned 1400 years ago to a, to a man. Who, 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 how would he know about this? How would the Prophet know about the Gulf of Alaska, which is located at the south shore of Alaska? How would he know? It's not swimmable. It's, it's really, really hard, you know? Yes, there is wildlife in the, in the, in the Gulf of Alaska. There's polar bears and stuff like that. Uh, probably, I think, some penguins too. How can the Gulf of Alaska be mentioned in the Quran, right? But it is. That's the beautiful part. So you really need to give it a reminder, man. I'm telling you, man, Muhammad Wasallam is truthful. He is a messenger of God. He is the final messenger of God. And yes, all the prophets that came before Muhammad May peace be upon him. We're also truthful. Whether it's Jesus, Moses, you look at Abraham, you look at Noah, Adam, all of them are truthful, all of them were true prophets of God. And this is when you know Allah, the one and true, only God, worthy of worship, who has unlike no other, who has neither beget, who neither has a son, neither a daughter, who is free above his creation, the one, the mighty, the all powerful, the all knowing, the ultimate truth, the ultimate power, the guide. Allah other thing is comparable to him he is unlike no other not his creation nothing we can't fathom god we can't fathom allah you believe that he is the one true god and you don't believe in other no false idols man that's what that's what i'm telling you man give it a read give it a chance man thank you so much take care